so I want to thank you all for your suggestions a couple of weeks ago on a video where I was asking what I should do or how you all rearrange or organize your what is it interfacing that video really helped me because several of you said that you will get an empty bolt from the fabric store or that I could ask for an empty bolt of you know fabric once it's all over just get the cardboard and then that you can store your interfacing or I can store my interfacing that way I thought that that was such a great suggestion and something that I never thought of or never even considered so thank you all so very much for chiming in I really appreciate that feedback so since that video I have really gotten into organizing and I cannot believe it so I ended up doing more organizing than I planned I actually haven't gotten to the interfacing yet but I've been doing everything else so I bought a shoe rack to go in my closet so I organized my shoes and then I bought a couple of things to go under the counters so that I can organize things under there and it has really been a lot of fun but the funny thing is now that I've been organizing I can't find anything because I'm like okay I put things in its place and then I'm like okay now where did I put the Vaseline now where did I put that glass cleaner and so I have to get used to the whole new system but yes it looks nice anyway but I just need to get used to where I put everything so I went to Savers I love going to Savers as you probably know if you watch my videos to look for fabric and I actually found something that I thought was really nice and different it's knit and I have it in my hands and I want to share it with you this is what it looks like it's a different color for me I usually stick to like very neutral type of colors I have a couple of bright colors in my wardrobe but not very many so this green fabric is so nice I thought and to me it was just screaming to be some type of casual outfit so that's what I'm planning to do I want to make like a top and then also a pair of pants or something to go with this so this is my fabric that I'm going to be making something with and then I will come back and show you what I end up making so I forgot to put some oil in the pan when I put these down for the first time so I'm going to make the rest of this I've never tried this before I just want to see if it's good and it's hard to tell whether it's done um, that's the finished product and this is the uncooked bacon and it kind of looks the same a little bit I mean this was a little bit lighter but it didn't get really really crispy um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make the last of it put oil this time because i forgot the first time this is just canola cooking and baking oil so i'm gonna put this ah see i didn't get the sizzle the first time okay now let's see maybe this oil is what it needed to make all the difference in the world let's see what happens okay i'm gonna cook this and then i'll show you the finished product and then I'll do a taste test okay so I'm all done with the bacon and here it is I hope you can see so this is taste test time so let me see never had this before let's see if it's good dry mmm mmm It's good. Hmm. It's salty though. I guess most bacons are salty. I'm trying to think of what it tastes like. Hmm. Mm hmm. But this is good. I can actually see myself maybe um putting this on a sandwich or something. It's really good. I wish I could tell you what it tastes like, but it, it doesn't taste like anything to me. It's Like I said, it is salty though, so that part isn't so good, but 
otherwise yeah all right smart life i think that's what it's called i like it i decided to make some joggers to go with the top that i want to make and all i need to do now is just add the cuffs to the bottom of the pant leg and then they will be all done and i'll be able to put this outfit on and show you the final result okay i'm done sewing and not only do i have the green outfit to share with you but i also have a dress that i want to share and it is berta i have my notes here with me it is berta 6414 and i made all of these garments out of fabric that i found when i was out one day shopping at savers and i found them on different days now this dress does call for elastic to go in the waist area these are some of the features in the pattern there is a slit on the left side of the dress and then the dress does hang a little bit under the arm it does have some fabric that just kind of pulls under the arm but I think that that's the way the garment is designed and it does kind of make it look like it's a little bit big on me but it's comfortable so I will say that as far as the dress I like it but I think I need to raise the slit a little bit or either add a slit on the other side because it's very hard for me to walk and another reason why it could be hard for me to walk is because this striped fabric is more of a ponty knit so it really stretches one way and not so much the other way and so that could be another reason why it was hard for me to walk because the dress is really long and speaking of length i did take off i believe three inches from the hem okay so, so now i will move on to the green garment and i did bring out a sample of the fabric so you can see what it looks like close up because i want you to see how it stretches or lack thereof so it's not super super stretchy but this is what the fabric looks like up close and I don't know why but like I said when I saw it I just figured it would be really nice or look cute in a casual garment so of course that's what I made so the top that I made is Simplicity 8988 and I made view A so this garment is really interesting because the fabrics are put together on the wrong side so that the seams that are going down the front and going down the back and also the seams at the shoulder area of the sleeves the side the seam allowance is actually showing on the right side of the garment so normally the seam allowance would be on the inside but in this make the seam allowance is on the outside and I thought that that was a really cute feature another thing that this garment has is it has a tie on the side so you just take two pieces of fabric from the pattern and you cut or you make two straps or strings I guess you can say and you thread them through on the side and then tie them and they make a little gather so I thought that that was a really cute feature also so yeah this is my first time making this top I've made this pattern before in a different top but this time I made a different view so. the pants that I made are just some joggers slash sweatpants that I have made before I think this has now become my favorite sweatpants pattern I haven't tried that many others but this one I have made so many times it's just like crazy I have so many of these sweatpants and the sweatpants are McCall's 7816 I may view C, which I believe is the only pair of pants on that pattern. I'm not looking at it right now, but it should be somewhere on the screen. So yes, I will show you what these three garments look like all on.
for the green top the other thing that I wanted to mention was that if you want to you can add ties to the right side also so you would just follow the same directions that you did for the left side of course you would have to cut out two more additional pieces for the straps or the strings and the other thing that I wanted to mention was I thought it was a little bit confusing trying to keep up with which side was which but I did find the pictures to be very helpful so I just made sure I just really really honed in on what the pictures were having you to do so that everything could come out right so I felt like it was easy to get confused but the pictures did help so for my love share I want to share what is known as the star of life so this is a symbol that you may have seen on elevators. If you see this symbol on an elevator, what it means is that the elevator is big enough to accommodate an ambulance stretcher. Isn't that so cool? So now whenever I see those things, I'm like, got you, I know what that means.